Morning, everybody. Woke up here in Fort Francis, Ontario. We're just letting Chevy stretch his legs and we're gonna get on the road. Nice, fresh morning out here. Nice and crisp. Not too hot, not too cold. Or I should say not too cold. That's mostly what's most important, mostly. It's not too cold. It's finally warming up. Spring is finally here, or at least it's on the way. I mean, we still got a little bit of winter lingering around behind me here, but we'll forgive Fort Francis for, for that. Because that sun up there is doing his job. So I'm about three hours away from my delivery in uh, Brainerd. I'm gonna wake myself up here, we're gonna have some breakfast. Just letting Chevy do his thing out here. Don't eat anything, remember that's the rule. Don't eat it. Good boy. Good. You're learning, see, you sniff, you don't eat. He wants to eat everything. Come on, Chev. Come on, Chev. I know, it's a very fancy, Walmart sign. I like it too. I like it too. Everything is so new for him. He doesn't get out of the house much. Or I should say he doesn't get out of town much. He does go to daycare and stuff and meets his friends and stuff. But it is a lot further from home than he's been in a long time. Wants to sniff and eat everything. Which have you? Well, uh, you gotta wait till I open the doors. Hey, remember last time? You started to go up the steps and the door was still closed? Remember that? I'm just gonna take this off of you. Okay, wait, wait. First the door's gotta be open. You can't go in without the door open. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna move this over just a little bit, line you up. Wait. Okay. There you go. Like a pro. There we are. Isn't that nice, Chevy? Isn't that a beautiful sound first thing in the morning? Yeah, it is. We're at the Why Not Quick Stop, just inside Minnesota. The Why Not Quick Stop, and why do I have the heat blasting in here? What in the world's going on? What in the world's going on here? Whoa, 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 whoa. It is springtime. Calm down. Hot air blowing at me here. Hey, so we're in Minnesota, just across the border, and uh, we're gonna go down to Brainerd get this off my trailer and it is confirmed I, I won't be getting my reload today I'll be getting it tomorrow so it frees up the day a little bit for me it was gonna be pretty rushed to get there I could have easily made it had there not been 10 trucks ahead of me at the shipper but that's the way it is I mean what am I what can I say about that I showed up and there's 10 guys in front of me they all had to get loaded all had to tie down their loads and all had to tarp in front of me and I'm sitting there just 
Well, we only made it to Fort Francis. Like, I was going to make it all the way down to Brainerd and get unloaded yesterday. But that's, that's the way it is. I mean, I didn't have to be unloaded yesterday. I just sort of wanted to to get ahead of schedule. I like to get ahead of things, get unloaded early as possible. It is what it is. So we'll do it, we'll do it all today and reload tomorrow. I'll probably be home tomorrow night then. A nice little quick trip just to ease ourselves back in. From what I hear, at home, everything is going very well. Uh, Britt is uh, finding her own routine with Theo, and uh, he's, he's being good. He's a perfect little guy. He, you can't get well, I know every parent says that about their kids. Oh, my kid's perfect. No, this one's for real. This is verifiably fact. A verifiable fact. Theo is the perfect, perfect health. He's a good-looking baby. Perfect weight. It took a long time to bring him into this world, so yeah, I'd say he's pretty perfect. I guess I gotta wait until he turns into a teenager to uh, <laughs> put the full stamp of perfect on him. <laughs> don't worry, Theo, if you're watching this later in life and you're a teen now, don't worry, I was nowhere near a perfect teenager. I, uh, man, ask me about it sometime, I'll tell you stories. I wanna tell you stories so that you don't do the dumb things I did, okay? You can be better than that. You can learn from me so that you don't have to go through those same dumb moments that I went through. Right, Chevy? Exactly. Whether or not you choose to listen to your dad from the past, well, that's up to you. I mean, I get it. When I was a teenager, my parents would tell me something. I, I figured I knew everything. I knew, I knew the whole world. I had the whole world figured out. It's around about 25 to 26 when the brain is fully developed the frontal uh, the frontal lobe isn't fully developed until you're about 26 that's when you truly it seems to be right around that time when you truly discover like who you are up until then it's sort of like a big process of discovery so it's all about making mistakes and learning from them and hey listen to my mistakes so you don't make those same ones okay you make your own mistakes don't copy me Another delivery done, another empty trailer, another happy customer. So now going down to that town I was talking about before called Lake Crystal. We're going to put two dump truck buckets I believe, or dump something about a dump truck on this trailer. And then the trailer is going to go up to Saskatoon. Another driver is going to take over for me in Manitoba and I'm going to go home. It's gonna be good.
I'm gonna pick it up first thing tomorrow morning. So I got about a three hour drive down there now. You ready to get going, Joe? You wanna go to Lake Crystal? I thought it was Crystal Lake at first, it's Lake Crystal. That's gonna be a good time, man. Hey, Jeff. This is the moment you've been waiting for, okay? Hey, Jeff. It's your turn to drive. You're right, Dad. I don't have thumbs. Nice. So I'm at the Expressway truck stop in Mankato, Minnesota, and this is where I'm gonna call home tonight. What do you think, Chef? What do you think? I think it's a very nice, big, nice parking spot, Dad. Right near the front, like a bus. You're the best. Well, thank you. Thank you. Now I I want to talk about this. Uh, I need to go home. Is that why you're complimenting me? You're trying to. Schmooze me? Trying to schmooze me, eh? Maybe. You're a good boy. You've been uh, really good this trip, Chevy. I've been very impressed. You've been handling things very well. You're a little skittish, alright? What? You're a little bit afraid of little things that you don't need to be afraid of, but all in all, I'm pretty proud of you, bud. You've handled it very well. Thanks, dude. There's only room here for maybe five trucks. You got Highway 169 right there. And you got you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven trucks maybe. And that's it, that's all for the day. Got nothing more for you. There's nothing more going on. We're parked right here. We're 20 kilometers or uh, like 15 miles from my shipper. I'll go there first thing in the morning. They open up around 8, so I want to get there just before 8. Hopefully start loading at about 8.30, maybe before. Like I said, it's it's supposed to be these like dump truck dumps. Two of them, from what I understand. So they'll put them on the trailer. Obviously, I guess I'll have to chain them down if it's what I think it is. I don't know, I'll tie it down, I'll secure it, and just like that, we'll be on our way back home. That's my, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm a little bit tired. Though, my definition of tired has changed. Since having a newborn, the newborn's not with me here in the truck, obviously, I don't think it's legal to take a newborn with you on the truck, but uh, he's at home with his mom. But you never quite know what you're all getting into when you have a kid. Until you have one. People try to warn you, right? But I'll tell you, it's the best experience ever. It's the best lack of sleep ever. You know, before I had a kid, if I wasn't, if I didn't have my, you know, my six to eight hours, oh man, my whole day was shot. But now, I mean, I get four hours at home. I'm good. It's, it's a different kind of life, that's for sure. All you parents out there know. Uh, I'm so excited to go back home. We'll be there tomorrow, so thanks for tagging along with me today, and I'll see you right here tomorrow. Let's go pick up those dumps. Let's go home. Don't forget to subscribe. I almost forgot to tell you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me for more videos. You can find all my social media, all the stuff that I that I have down below in the description of every one of my videos. If you're on mobile, just go down below, click the title. It'll take you, open up this whole box. If you don't find it down there, it's not me, okay? I got Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Facebook is my main platform where I'm the most active. Uh, I have a Twitter. And uh, what was the other one? Instagram, I post more pictures there. I have a TikTok too, I don't use it as much, but if you want to find me there, if you use it, if you don't use the app, that's fine. I know how it is with that one. That one's a kind of a 
Some people like it, some people don't. If you like it, you can find me there too. But I'll uh, see you tomorrow. Take care.